everyone to another episode of Brino's Brews, the show where I drink and evaluate the wonderful nectar of the gods that is beer. This week on the program, we've got a beer from a little bit down south of me in Cincinnati, Ohio, from the well-known Rheingeist Brewery in Cincinnati. This is their Hustle, a rye IPA, but this is a rye pale ale, I'm sorry, weighing in at 5.6% alcohol by a volume. And no word in the can says only says 40 IBUs, so normally uh, pale ales or stuff are tend to be sort of on the bitter side, but not too much. 40 seems maybe a little bit low for me, but we will find out in just a minute. We will take that minute, however, and go over the scoring system that we use on this show here on Brino's Brews. Let's go over that. Scoring for Brino's Brews is based loosely on the scoring system used by the Beer Judge Certification Program. In our system, a beer can earn a maximum of 10 points. One point can be awarded for appearance, two points for aroma, four points for flavor, one point for mouthfeel, and two points can be awarded for a beer's overall impression. And finally, partial points can be awarded in any category. So that's how scoring works, so let's see how much hustle is in this can of hustle. Pop open the can. Yeah. Ooh, getting the bitterness right away. Let's get started. One point for the appearance. Here we go. Oh, goodness me. Tiny bit of handle. First, I thought there wouldn't be too much, but there is quite a bit. Hold it up to the light. Very, very see-through, but a very, very nice color, too. No haze to speak of whatsoever. Well, at first glance, I do not see anything wrong with this. It looks like a proper pale ale to me. So for the appearance, this gets the full point. Two points for the aroma. As I mentioned, when I first opened the can, I got a big rush of... Um, hoppiness that is typical of a pale ale. Let's see what more we can get from Hustle here. Two points for aroma. Here we go. Definitely has the right amount of hoppiness that you skip from a pale ale. Hoppy, but not too hoppy like an IPA. That's good. I think I'm also getting some hints of the rye here. I know rye adds a bit of a complexity to the flavor of a beer, obviously. Not getting too much in the area of maltiness, which is what you expect from a pale ale as well. I'm not smelling anything wrong with this beer either. Nothing bad at all. I think I'm going to give this the full two points for the aroma. Here we are. It is now time for the batter to step up to the plate. Four points on the line for flavor. I'm optimistic about this one. So let's not waste any more time. Four points for the flavor of Hustle. Here we go. Mm. First things first, there's nothing bad about the taste of this beer. It's definitely not malty at all. Very, very low in the malt, which again is to be expected. And there's definitely some hop presence in there. It's not thick and in your face like an IPA, but it's just enough to let you know that it's there. I'm getting a little bit of the rye flavor too, tiny bit of it. This definitely is the kind of beer that would hit the spot on a, a spring afternoon such as today. I'm digging this. I am really, really digging this hustle here. I think, may, I think maybe the hoppiness could be just a teensy bit higher to maybe give it some more flavor, something that I can really not sink my teeth into, but sink my teeth into. I think, I, think, I think it needs a little extra something here to sort of make it more complete, if you will. It's a very refreshing beer. I will definitely give you that. It doesn't deserve a 4, but it definitely deserves a 3.75. It's a very high score, and I believe it's well-deserved. It's now time to judge the mouthfeel. Everything that's pleasant to the tongue. One point is on the line here. Let's figure it out. Carbonation, I think, is just perfect. Not too much, and it's not too little. That was my 
concern when I was opening the can up and pouring it in. But it feels fine, the carbonation. Not too much, not too little. It feels very, very clean for a um, pale ale. But then again, good pale ales tend to be on the clean side. A little, little light. Clean, light, and a good amount of bitterness. I don't think you can go wrong with this. With that in mind, I cannot help but not give it the full point for the mouthfeel. <sighs> Finally, for the overall impression, I'm very, very impressed with this beer. I really am. There's almost nothing wrong with it at all, except I, th I just think there should be a little bit more to the flavor. It's missing a little something. Maybe too much. Maybe there needs to be more rye in there. Maybe a little something else just to make it a little more complex. But as a textbook pale ale, it absolutely delivers on all accounts. That's all I can really say. This beer is just a perfect spring, maybe summer beer too. Overall, though, I'm, I don't want to give it a two. It deserves something very, very close to a two. I'm going to give this, for the overall impression, a 1.8. I have done the math, and if my numbers are correct, then Hustle from Ryan Geist in Cincinnati gets 9.55 points out of a possible 10 here on Brino's Brews. Once again, it's at the top echelon of beers here on this show, and deservedly so. This is just everything that is right about an IPA. This has all the good characteristics of an IPA, and with a little bit of rye flavor as well, gives a nice little kick to it as well. But again, if you're just thirsty for something and want something with a little bit of flavor, but it's not too heavy, perfect for spring or summer, this is the beer that you want. So if you like pale ales, you can never go wrong with this, with Hustle. This is easily, this is easily the kind of beer where, if you're not careful, you could drink maybe three or four of these pretty, pretty easily. It's very, very light, very clean, very crisp, and just got the right amount of uh, bitterness and flavor to it where, again, if you're not careful, you can drink too much of this. Well, that will do it for another episode of Brino's Brews here on Brino's World. I want to thank you all very much for watching. If you've had Hustle before and have thoughts on it, leave a comment down below. Also, if you've got any other ideas for beers I can try in the show, leave a comment down below as well. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to Brino's World if you have not already. Once again, thank you very, very much for watching and have yourself a good one.